like the part that really gets you about the thousand year blood war is the stuff that they reveal was always in our faces the entire time we just didn't know you know what i'm saying we just didn't know how big of a role it was going to play that was the thing that kind of smacks you in the face like oh damn that that's what it was the whole time like <laughs> you know so um I'm gonna talk about this in the video tomorrow too. There was some Stern Ritters that never got their uh, scripts revealed. Stern Ritter K, BG9, and Stern Ritter N. Um, Robert. <gasps> um, they never revealed what their letters mean, so I'm gonna have to speculate. I mean, based on how they was fighting, what they meant. Is that the Dark Gundam? Exactly. But the crazy part is that he's actually considered a, 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 a pure-blooded Quincy. You know, they got different type of Quincy's. They got mixed-blooded Quincy's. And then they got pure-blooded Quincy's. And one of the abilities that the pure bully, the pure blooded Quincy's have, they just naturally have it. The other Qu Quincy's have to train for it, which is another reason why that medallion didn't work on them. That didn't work on them. He actually got a couple reasons why that medallion didn't work on him. I actually can't wait for tomorrow now. Because I'm really eager to talk about that video now. I think I'm going to just talk about the, um, what their abilities do. I don't think I'm going to go into their ball standings and all that. Their holy forms. I think I'm just going to talk about uh, who they are and what their abilities are. I really want to see the captain's fight flushed out too. Yeah. Yo, that fight with uh. Raw Valkyrie, that fight, that seeing that animated is gonna be crazy. The fight between Gerard Valkyrie and uh Biakia and um damn I can't remember that little ice boy name. Fucking, uh, shit, that's on the tip of my tongue too. I want to say. Toshiro. I hope I got his name right. Like when I think of it, the difference between Aizen and Ichigo from the manga to show. Yeah. Toshiro, okay, yeah, it was Toshiro. Um, hey, but you know one stupid fight that they had? It's, it's one fight that I'm going to be mad at. 
Um, what was the name of that visor? Um, the one who had the golden whip, the one who had like the Doctor Kevorkian plague face mask, like like the one who had the gold whip, like the one who uh, played it like an instrument. I, I can't think of his name, and I'm mad I can't. Yeah, the piano dude. I'm trying to think of his name and I can't think of it. But the fight, yeah, but the fight between him and Mass the Masculine, that fight is gonna piss me off. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember his name because he's not one of the, uh, he's not one of the more popular characters so I can't think of his name right off the bat. But you know who I'm talking about. With him. Because he did something stupid. Like, that fight is going to remind me of why you shouldn't talk so damn much. That, <laughs> that whole fight, Chris, like, he would have won that fight had he just shut his damn mouth. Like the fight he had with Master Masculine. Like if he would have just shut his damn mouth, he had that fight in the bag. He just couldn't stop talking. Let me look his name up real quick. Hold on. He, exactly, he pulled the damn Vegeta. That's exactly what the hell he did. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, okay. So, um, Rojuro is his, uh, his name. Rojuro Otoribashi. Rojuro Otoribashi. That's his name. Kinshara is his, uh, is his Zongo too. The one that turns into a gold whip that he can play like an instrument. That's his name. One of the dumbest people. He got one of the best abilities, but he's so stupid. Because he couldn't shut the hell up. Like, when I was reading the book, I was just like, bro, if you don't be the fuck quiet. Like, <laughs> nah. I, I just looked it up on Google. I typed in Bleach uh, Gold Whip and, it, and his name came up. But nah, he, um, like that fight disappointed me. If there's one thing I could change about the Thousand Year Blood War, it's like he could still lose, but not like that. Because that was just dumb. I read it all on Manga Panda and I really wanted to skip his. <laughs> Like his fight, like it was good up until that point he just started talking, like. Cause the whole time I'm reading it, I'm just like, well, that's another Quincy going. And then he just kept running his mouth and then, was, well, that happened. Oh, hey, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's one thing that I'm kind of low-key dreading. I'm kind of dreading. Okay, here's the thing with me. I don't have a problem with cosplayers, but I know for a fact it's going to be a bunch of females that's going to cosplay Yorichi. Especially after that fight with Askin. Like, you pretty much know, like if you read the, the manga, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm just dreading seeing that all over TikTok and all over social media. Like, because you know it's going to happen. Out of nowhere, it's just going to be a bunch of girls dressing up as Yorichi, hitting up their little OnlyFans. There's no cosplay. 
when there's only 4% out there. <laughs> but still, but that's, that's the point I'm making. You know as well as I do that when that episode gets aired, it's going to be a bunch of females that's just going to cosplay that and go straight to their OnlyFans with it. You know what it is. And it already makes me sick to my stomach that I'm going to be seeing that shit everywhere. It's basically, you know what that's going to be? That's going to be... When that episode with Yoro Richie gets revealed, when, it, when that gets aired, you know that's going to have the same effect as that, uh... As, um... Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad. You know how everybody was just dressing up as Harley Quinn out of no damn where? Is that Destroyer Gundam? Oh no, that's the Dark Gundam. Oh shit. But no, nah, like, you know how Harley Quinn was everywhere? It's like you couldn't go no, to no convention without seeing a whole bunch of Harley Quinns. Like, I went to San Francisco Comic Con. Back in 2000, was it 2011? No, 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 no. It was like 2017. And when I tell you 90% of the females there were dressing up as Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad, yeah, you gotta step away for a second, no problem. Midnight Rose 30, what's up? Let's 
俺は戦うことしかできない不器用な男だだからこんな風にしか言えない俺はお前がお前がお前が好きだお前が欲しいレイTell me we're not going to fight this dude again. Like, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, you know what happens during that fight when Yorichi fights Asuka. You know what happens. And you're right about what's going to happen with her episode. Yeah, I, I know. And I, it's like, I'm excited for it because I would love to see it animated. But at the same time, I know the effect it's going to have. And it's driving me nuts. So I'm just like, let's, I mean... We're pretty much not gonna get that episode until like maybe like the summer of 2023. But I still just want it to be over with. I don't disagree with shit. It's hard to. It's like at this point, you could just call this call this shit out from from a mile away. Like, you just, like we, we can just call this stuff out a mile away because we know. Farewell, since we'll meet again at the end of the 14th Gundam fight. Is this it? Over the Rainbow True Mission. I don't care about the Chaos Missions, dude. I just want this shit to be over with. We got, I guess that's Gundam Unicorn. <laughs> 